Hi, my name is Beverly Feldman. I have a teleprompting service here in the Los Angeles area. And in 1990, I had a job um, at the, the post-presidential offices of President Reagan and Mrs. Reagan. I was going there to prompt Mrs. Reagan, and it was a public service announcement for breast cancer awareness. And she had had breast cancer while she was first lady. So I went there. We got all set up. Um, Mrs. Reagan first had an interview before she was going to read the uh, public service announcement copy. And during this interview, she talked about that when she um, uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer, it was right in the middle of two very big events. And one of them was that her mother was dying. The second one was, was that the Gorbachevs were coming to the United States and they were coming to dinner at the White House. This doesn't sound, you know, earth shattering at this point in time, but at the, but back then it was really a big deal. And Mrs. Um, Reagan uh, had a big job to do. So she gets the word that she has breast cancer. So she chose to have a mastectomy instead of doing chemo. What she said was that she did not have the luxury of time to do chemo. And, and that um, what happened was after the, when the news came out that she had had a mastectomy, she was vilified in the press by feminists who um, uh, said she acquiesced to, to the man. Um, she chose, you know, to do something that disfigured her and she was a bad example to women in the United States. And she was taken aback by this. She had no idea that there would be a backlash like this when she had a dying mother and the Gorbachevs coming to dinner. So after the interview, we had to reposition. And so that took about 20 minutes. And I found myself standing next to Mrs. Reagan while things were moving. And so I said to her, Mrs. Reagan, I want to acknowledge you for the sacrifice you made on behalf of the country to have it work out that when the Gorbachevs came to dinner, it was going to be a good thing and it was going to be an important step. And I know that you had so much to do and that you were so taken aback by how you were treated in the press. So I want to apologize on behalf of all of us in the country who did not realize the extent of your sacrifice and what you did selflessly. And her eyes filled up with tears. She reached out. We held hands and stared into each other's eyes for a few minutes. And she gave me a hug. And I was very moved. And she was very thankful. And it was... It was a, a beautiful moment, and I felt like that she got something out of it. And so for that, I'm grateful. Today was her funeral, and I just wanted to relay this really great story about her. So thanks for watching.